Hey SK fans, Leonix here, joined by the young Alltech himself of Team Winterfox. Uh, first question, but how does it feel winning against Team Liquid? Do you feel kind of less of a win since Piglet's not on that team anymore, or how's that feeling? I think, I mean, I definitely wanted to play against Piglet, but since there are like a lot of internal problems with the team, they had to use a sub, which I mean, it's still four-fifths of the members, so I think, I think a win's a win, you know? Um, I think at one point in the game, we were all, I was kind of afraid that we might lose because the Fizz top was just like a kind of a unique pick that we haven't seen in the LCS recently. So that kind of threw us off guard. But other than that, I was pretty happy with our victory. Uh, I know that Glebe just left recently, uh, just filling in for Imagine. How does that kind of like feel with a new support? Is it, are you playing better? Do you feel that you're maybe kind of like the same or is it just all creating comms at this point? Um, I don't, I don't think it's less of a downgrade. I think like Glebe is a really good player. Um, I think though bringing or having Imagine finally come over is a big step in the right direction for us. Um, just because a lot of the times like Helios would have to use, use uh, English to like chat or to like talk to like what's going on in the bottom lane. And since he can use Korean and Imagine can just be like, Oh, yeah, this and that. It's a lot easier for us um, in terms of play, though. I think it's been a lot better. Like, it's a lot of stuff are, like, more cleanly executed, I would say. But I think, though, 90% of the comms are Korean and 10% is, like, me or Pobalt here. Fair enough. Uh, is it mainly Helios, the voice of the shot calling? Or is it is it you? Or is it Imagine? Or is it just whomever has the grasp of the game? Um, for us, I think Helios does most of it. Like he just constantly talks, but it's like when we need something, we just say, Hey, um, I need help bottom to get this tower. I need some cover or something like that. And then they just, uh, they just agree on it. And then there's cover. Like whenever you, whenever someone needs something, we just ask for it and then they just respond. So it's not too bad in terms of communication. Uh, I know that this season you actually have a kind of a little, little rough start at the beginning with uh, Winter Fox. Is there like a uh, specific strategy that you guys are coming in with the new season? It's like, all right, we have our full roster coming in. We're we're looking up. Uh, is it is it like the full Exodia pieces collected uh, with you guys? <laughs> we're, we're actually going to win? Um, I think the first few weeks we had to play with like sub. I mean, going 1-1 was pretty well because we had three subs. Um, but uh the o2 week was kind of like depressing because i think that we should have at least gone one one or two um but i think moving forward that we're definitely gonna pull out a lot more wins but i think we shouldn't strive to like i mean we should strive to be really good in the spring split but i think given if we have like three or four months together i think we'll sh shine more in the summer than the spring so i know that the meta has changed a little bit uh AD carry is not too much on the itemization, but just how the entire map has globally changed with team objectives and kind of like this team-based meta. Um, is there anything that you've prepared yourself? Do you look to other regions that you um, kind of admire? I know that you went boot camping in Korea for a little bit. Is there something that you took away from a certain player or um, kind of like theory crafted your own? Uh, not really. I mean, I've all I'm still looking up to a lot of Korean players. And the, some Korean 80s that went to China, like Deft or Imp. But other than that, it's really, there's not like a big change in terms of player to player. It's just like when I watch their streams and stuff or like even games, it's just like these small things that make them really well and or make them really good. And I just try to copy that kind of thing. So that's about it. You have any shout outs, Altec? Um, shout outs to our fans. Um, thank you guys for supporting. Uh, we had a rough start, but. We're looking to bounce back. All right. If you want any more coverage just like this, be sure to check out SK Gaming on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, till next time.